Judith Lieber couture clutches have been gracing the high-end fashion scene since 1963. Expertly designed and flawlessly handcrafted, they are so renowned that now several museums around the world, from the Victorian Albert Museum and the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which alone own around 80 pieces in their collection, display some of these meticulously detailed and beautifully outstanding evening bags. Judith Lieber bags are pure works of art and are highly coveted and sought after by the rich and famous in society. Welcome to Creme de Luxury, the place for an exceptional luxury lifestyle. Judith Lieber was a Hungarian-American fashion designer and businesswoman, but the earlier life of Judith Lieber was fraught with struggles, hurdles and barriers and life-changing circumstances before she started her world-class brand. In 1938, Judith Lieber was sent to King's College in London to study chemistry for the cosmetics industry, as her father believed she would be safe in London in case the war started. However, Judith returned to Hungary at the start of the Second World War and went to work at Pessel, where she obtained a traineeship at a handbag company through family connections. It was there Judith learned to cut and mould leather making patterns and frames and stitching bags into completion. Judith was the first in her company to work her way from journeyman and graduate to master craftswoman. And Judith went on to become the first woman to join the Hungarian Handbag Guild in Budapest. However, disaster shortly followed as Judith narrowly avoided Nazi persecution when she and her family escaped the Holocaust to the safety of a house set aside for Swiss citizens which was gained through her father that allowed them to live under the government's protection. With their world turned upside down, Judith and her family found themselves living with at least 25 other people in a one-bedroom apartment. And in December 1944, those living in the apartment were then rounded up and taken to live in a Hungarian Nazi-run ghetto. Shortly after the liberation of Hungary by the Red Army, Judith Lieber and her family found themselves living in a basement with up to 60 other people. Judith Lieber is quoted as saying that she would record designing handbags in her head to get through the misery and keep her sane. In 1946, Judith married Gerson Lieber, also known as Gus, a sergeant in the United States Army serving in Eastern Europe. They met when Judith worked for the secretaries of the American legation in Budapest and they moved to New York City in 1947. It was said to be a relative of Gus who recommended her for her first job as a seamstress using an electric sewing machine. But Lieber only knew how to use a foot treadle and despite her ability to make an entire leather bag from concept to showroom, Judith preferred to create her own designs. She was soon introduced to designer Nettie Rosenstein. Known for her little black dresses and chic costume jewellery, Lieber began working as an assistant pattern maker in 1947, eventually overseeing the brand's New York factory as pattern maker, design and foreman for the next 12 years. Judith Lieber was the only female pattern maker with the rare ability to make a handbag from start to finish. Lieber bought a marked European training and skill set to the United States, revolutionising the meaning of handbag craftsmanship for the American consumer. Then in 1953, everything changed when Mami Eisenhower commissioned Rosenstein to design her gown for the inaugural ball, in which Judith Lieber was tasked with designing the matching purse in a pale pink silk decorated with a lace overlay, pearls and rhinestones. It was this monumental task that launched Judith's career. The moment when Mami Eisenhower stepped out at the presidential inauguration ball with a bag by Judith Lieber under the Nettie Rosenstein name, this instantly propelled her already growing reputation among celebrities and socialites to a household name. And Judith Lieber's name and prestige took off as she became known amongst fashion editors and reporters as a premier and premium handbag designer. After this, Rosenstein gave Lieber the leeway to make anything she wanted. The renowned purse is now on display in the First Lady's Hall in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. After Eisenhower's re-election, Judith Lieber made a bag for the second inaugural ball 
and five other first ladies acquired Judith's service at their husband's presidential inauguration, including Lady Bird Johnson, Nancy Reagan, Barbara Bush, Hillary Bush and Laura Bush. Other designers would often send their gown plans for inaugural balls to be matched with their bags. Lieber's showroom grew to four floors and over 20,000 square feet and soon department stores were flying Lieber across the country to make celebrity style appearances. In 1993, Judith Lieber won the Lifetime Achievement Award for the Council of Fashion Designers of America, which was the first time the award was given to a handbag designer. Over the years, the Judith Lieber collection has expanded drastically. Before Judith Lieber started experimenting with crystal clutches and purses, her bags were normally produced in one colour and material, green leather made from calfskin. The collection eventually moved away from calfskin and just one colour and instead began to be produced in snakeskin, especially due to customer demands for more choice from their bags. While the original green leather bag is no longer available to purchase, similar styles have been produced over the years. For example, the Soho Emerald snakeskin clutch, which honours the original design. The inception of the world-renowned and acclaimed Judith Lieber clutches that we know today actually didn't start until 1967. Judith Lieber's favourite bag style was her sophisticated 1967 Chatelaine design. It was the first metal Minodier bag she made and produced in Italy, and it was also the turning point for her when the bag was delivered with a defect. The plating processing had not been perfect. It was stained a tinted unpleasant shade of greenish tinge instead of gold. This would have been a major setback for many, but this issue helped shape the future for Judith Lieber bags. Judith Lieber innovatively salvaged the bag by covering up the green tinge with crystals, a happy solution given the bag's ethereal luminescence, before bringing forth the famous Chatelaine bag. The pioneering crystal embellishment is now a Lieber trademark. The bag was a huge success and revenue quadrupled. The crystal and rhinestone encrusted metal clutch bag became iconic in the Judith Lieber brand. The transformation from the classic Judith Lieber clutch styles to the newer quirky innovations was a big step in the brand it is today. Whilst the older vintage Judith Lieber bags were popular amongst the rich and famous, which were the made-to-order bags such as the Kelly style bags from sumptuous materials like ostrich, alligator, lizard's levers, it was the novelty bags that took the world by storm and are still iconic today. Judith Lieber bags are renowned. They have fast become a favourite option amongst celebrities, elites and socialites. The novelty bags are bold, making you stand out in any crowd. The novelty designs of Judith Lieber bags included designs of food from a ruby red slice of watermelon to pink frosted cupcakes and animals which included baby pigs, peacocks, snakes and cats to dogs and everyday objects were the iconic vision of Judith Lieber. The more iconic clutches include the French Fry Rainbow clutch, the Pineapple Hilo and the Money Roll. The Money Roll clutch actually inspired many other designs including the coin bank, stack of cash bills and the pouch money bag silver. The bag became even more of an icon cemented in popular culture and cult classic status when they were featured in popular TV show Sex and the City circa 2008. They introduced the fanciful designs to a whole new generation of fashionistas and fashion lovers. When during Carrie's relationship with Mr Big, he gifted Carrie a duck shaped bag with all the sequin embellishments that are synonymous to Lieber clutches. After that, various iterations of the Minordiers appeared throughout the seasons of the show. In many scenes, including when Carrie touches down in Paris with a black frame clutch in hand, or in the movie when Charlotte's daughter Lily took Carrie's phone and put it in the Judith Lieber cupcake strawberry crystal covered clutch. In order to help during the challenging times of the past decades, the Judith Lieber bag has also produced bags that helps give back to the community to support the ongoing struggles around the world. Every time, for example, the rainbow clutch is bought, 10% would go towards those who need it most. With more than 60 years of production, thousands of bags have been carefully designed, crafted and bought. The Judith Lieber clutches make the perfect accessory able to complement any outfit. 
for fashionistas looking for a touch of personality and or a more personalised statement making clutch, the Judith Lieber collection from the Slim Side Bespoke Clutch collection gives you the option to customise it with your name. Judith Lieber has created many intricate handbag designs, not only encrusted with Swarovski crystals, but also with rhinestones and other semi-precious stones. Some have even been plated with silver and gold. The Judith Lieber clutches are sold at exclusive boutiques around the world. Some designs and collections start from upwards of £1,900 and exceed more than £7,000. Some of the most best-selling and most pursued Judith Lever bags in the world are the Lips Collection, the Camera Click, the Boombox Pieces, Wildcat Pieces and the Bow Just For You Collection. The Judith Lieber pieces are so renowned that they are now classed as more than fashion. Her pieces are object, the art and collector's items. They are also sometimes referred to as Fabergés, which are frequently auctioned with one wealthy collector owning close to 300 of the Lieber bags. The Liebers bought property in Spring, New York in 1956 and it became their primary residence in 2011. And in 2005, they opened the Lieber Museum across the street from their home to display their bags. The Liebers also brought back many of Judith's creations to be placed in the museum. An opera singer, Beverly Seals, left her entire collection of 200 bags to the museum when she died. Judith made her last handbag in 2014, but her brand still lives on, and her last design was an intricate blue-green peacock minaudier she had made before she sold her brand. In 2018, Judith Lieber sadly passed away on April 28th at the good old age of 97, just 72 hours after her husband died. The company today continues to make her designs, and in January 2017, the Oklepo Hilfiger, wife of Tommy Hilfiger, became the co-owner, creative director and brand ambassador of the Judith Lieber Couture Bags. Jenna Matheson, chief creative officer, continues Judith Lieber's legacy today by innovating the brand's collection with new materials and experimenting with hardware and construction. It is said that the classic and rare crystal Minaudiers can take almost two years to complete, from concept design to complete execution. A single Judith Lieber bag is said to travel across cities in the United States for each step in its making. Their designs are conceptualised at the New York studio and then travel to Florence to be curated and embellished and then finally travel back to New York. The brand has special artisans assigned to manoeuvring the entire process of manual setting of each crystal semi-precious stones and embellishments on the delicately crafted Judith Lieber clutch bag. The bag's frame or shell are still made in Italy from wax moulds. Then each piece is hand-painted with its colourful design, with the corresponding colour crystals put to place at a specialist jeweller. Each sparkling clutch bag is adorned with anywhere from 7,000 to 13,000 crystals that takes up to 20 highly skilled artisans to create. Some novelty bags even take more than a hundred hours to create by hand. One of the most expensive Judith Lieber bags is the precious rose bag that looks like a multicolored rose in full bloom but made using over 1196 pink sapphires and over 1016 diamonds. This impressive clutch has a total weight of 42.56 carats and was sold for more than £70,000. Judith Lieber made a place for herself as the designer of the most dazzling handbags in the high-end fashion industry, which are still highly sought after and coveted till this day because of their distinctive design and dedicated, unique craftsmanship in their creation. With clientele from first ladies to modern-day socialites and elites, Buying a bag from the Judith Lieber brand is an investment piece to be worn and treasured forever. Kept in the family and passed down to generations, a Judith Lieber bag is a purchase that is truly timeless and iconic and will elevate any luxury collection. We will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye from Creme de Luxury.